Homestead OC here. This is week six of uh, our chicken raising experience. These little ones, I think, around week three. Yeah, I think week three. Uh, week six chicks, pullets, whatever they are. Um, they like to hide out in this little bush here. And um, they're not really a fan of me. There's one down here. And here they are. Got a few running off there. Um, but they, they are getting big. They're basically just mini chickens right now. Fully feathered. And uh, they are fending for themselves. The moms have uh, kicked them to the curb. And they're trying to come up in the, in the coop at night, uh, but a few of them are, are fighting them off, trying to keep them out of the coop, so they just sit on the edge of the, sit on the edge of the, uh, of the coop door. Yeah, these, these guys know what's up. But those, this one knows here. Chick, 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 chick. <clears throat> Trying to teach them to when to come, when, when there's food, basically. This one over here, that's, the, that's our Buff Orpington Welsomer. They're all, they're all Welsomer crosses, but that's uh, Buff Orpington. This one right here, I believe, is a... Uh, uh, that's an Americana. Um, these black ones, it's, it's really hard to tell um, if they're either our Austrolorps or the Jersey Giants. The ones with the longer necks are the Jersey Giants, I'm guessing. And... Um, the ones with the shorter necks are either Australorps or possibly a, a, a Blue Orpington, um, one, of our other, uh, one of our other broody moms. Uh, her name's Olive, we're not sure if uh, she's a Blue Orpington, an Australorp, or maybe even a uh, Blue Wyandotte, Wyandotte. <clears throat> We have, we have way more chickens than, than we ever thought we would, that's for sure. Uh, but in another 10 weeks, most of these will be uh, harvested. And then the, uh, the hens will, will keep around just to kind of see how they turn out. We'll keep a few. I'm, I'm leaning more towards the, the Buff Orpington uh, Welsomer crosses. Um, we really liked our uh, Wellsmer hen, and we really like the Buff Orpingtons, and we also like the uh, the colored eggs from our Americanas. So we'll, we'll kind of see which ones are the the biggest of the bunch, <clears throat> and uh, we'll choose that way. Here's our week two, week three chicks. <clears throat> trying to be more involved with them so they can know me and it will be easier to catch. <laughs> Here's our, our little chicken pullet feeding station. Uh, this is a grower, sort of a grower, eh, not quite a mash, but uh, still a lot of whole grain seeds in there. and. This is our, our little chick door. There's some that are starting to get stuck. Some of the six weekers are starting to get stuck right here. Uh, but this one's fine. Once, uh, once they're too big for this, all we have out in the main run is layer feed. So I'll either remove this and maybe stack a piece of plywood here just to give it a little bit of gap. But trying not to let our uh, smallest hen in there. 
Uh, that's our Sicilian buttercup. Usually they sleep in here together at night uh, for the most part. And um, our two or three week mom sleeps right at the edge of the food door here with all her chicks. She's got 10. And then a good amount will perch right here. Got a nice little poop wad there. Perfect. Not sure that who's that one from, but they're definitely eating grass. The uh, the six week old ones and even even the two weekers or three weekers are able to reach the water nozzle there, so that's really great. And then uh, for all the other shorties, we got the hanging water there. Uh, everyone's pretty well taken care of. The chicks for our new batch, they're in here. That's their little feed station. I got some ramps there. That one's almost a week old, but we just had a, excuse me, go ahead. That's our, uh, that's our Austral Orp or Blue Orpington or Blue Wyandotte. I think it's a Blue Wyandotte because when we bought all our hens, that was one of them that we got and uh, we thought it might have died, but maybe it was the other Austral Orp that died and the Blue Wyandotte survived. They were all kind of similar. Take a look at her. So what had happened with these is I think she's an Ostralorp. Uh, somehow eggs got mixed up between these two but she was supposed to have her clutch hatch first and she hatched two, she hatched two. And then all the chicks went to this one and she had only been sitting for a week. She's been sitting for three and a half, well, almost four weeks now, but she just, uh, you know, I don't even know what they're doing. They're kind of, she tolerates them all. She tolerates them all, but they all go under her to, uh, to sleep and hide out and she's leaving the nest and doing her thing. So we moved all the leftover eggs that were under her over to her and she's sitting on them all. And we have one mystery chick somewhere in here. It just, just hatched, looks like a uh, Americana Welsmer mix. And she's under her. So either there's gonna be more eggs hatching under her or we well, don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll, you know, stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. Uh, I know the last couple videos have been really long, but this one's about, uh, you know, kind of a short update here. It's kind of hard to get uh, videos of the uh, the six week old, so a couple of chick shots for you there. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for week seven. Um, this is our one of our first moms. He's a Welsomer. She's the peskiest one of the bunch. I, I've marked them with leg bands. These are the ones I'm going to be keeping because they go broody and they're, they're big and they're good egg layers, you know, the best ones out of the bunch. And, uh, the other ones, the other older hens, they're, they're, I mean, they're less than a year old, but they have so far not gone broody, but what we're gonna do instead of eat them, they already have names, we'll, uh, we'll sell them off and to make room for this, uh, this new flock, this new batch of uh, pullets that we're, we're keeping the best of. Um, and then for next season, our plan is to uh, do a rooster swap, hopefully a trade with somebody for a Buff Orpington rooster, or we'll just sell him and, and then uh, get a, a Buff Orpington rooster somehow. Um, I've thought about getting a, a straight run batch of, well, of uh, Buff Orpingtons, but uh, it's just gonna be kind of hard to integrate them with the flock. So we just get the one rooster. A lot of people are giving away roosters around here. It's, it's pretty hard to have a rooster in Orange County. Not too many cities allow it, but we're in uh, unincorporated county. 
so uh, we have a little bit more freedom to do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned next week, like I said, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.